Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. If you can hear me and can see my screen, kindly type in a hi in the comment section, please. Good morning, everyone. If you can hear me and can see my screen, kindly type in a hi in the comment section below. Okay, good morning, Carrie. Hi, Voxin Sidema. All right, good morning to you. Hello, Akash. Good morning. Hello, Choco. Good morning to you. Ken Drizzy, good morning. Oh, Steamroller, I see you. Good morning. Thanks for the confirmation. Trust you had a good weekend. Rodi Jacqueline, good morning. I see you. Uh, so with no much further ado, um, let's dive into the chat and let's see what is happening on this Monday morning. And um, from what happens today, we can decide what we're going to be doing uh, as we begin a new week. Um, I welcome you to x Speed Life um, with my humble self, Sheriff Daramola. And I will be taking you through through the market from this moment on. So what should we look at first? UK oil as usual. High work 2307. Good morning to you. Hello, Wimpy. Good morning. Should we look at UK oil, US oil, gold, BTC USD? Okay, in the absence of none, then I'll just have to go with um, my own tendency this morning, I guess. Um, so let us look at, okay, let's start with US oil. So what's happening on the US oil? Um, the first thing I would like to do here is to delete all this as we we want to start the week with a new fresh look at the chat. So let's um, delete this, delete this. Okay. So we have something like this to work with as we head into the new week. So um, let's go to the four hours time frame. after which we're going to be looking at where the major trend is heading at. And then we can now use um, the structures we have to now decipher where we will be going as we begin um, the new week. So the first and first we want to be doing here is to identify the major trend on a higher time frame, which we are actually looking at, we are looking at the four hours time frame, and we can see how price has been respecting um, the temporary bullish trend line since um, the beginning of May 
of this year, we can see our price has been since climb climb since price climbed that um, temporary bullish trend line. We've been seeing higher highs and higher low until we saw the move that culminated at 123.40 area and we are seeing um, a retracement move to the downside. So we don't know if this retracement is going to go into that bearish trend line, that bullish trend line, the temporary bullish trend line after which we'll be looking for a reversal pattern that will push price further up or is it possible that price will break down that bullish trend line then a retest of structure could send price go further down to the major bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame so for the sake of clarity i would like to move the chart to the daily time frame so that we can see the major bullish trend line that we identified um i think a couple of weeks ago so this is what we have here on the daily time frame we have this major bullish trend line and one thing we don't know at this point is is price going to come down into this bullish trend line then we we'll, we we'll look forward to moves that will push price further up so that we cannot tell here on the daily time frame then we need to scale down to a much lower time frame let's say the two hours time frame to look at how we want to take advantage of any potential as we go into the new week so this is what we have here at the moment and we can see that since the beginning of the week price has been oscillating within the $118 and the $119 area uh, this is what we have since the beginning of the week we saw how price has been in this phase in a consolidation phase since the beginning of the week so the first thing we want to be doing at this point is to look for a key level that will guide our action as we head into the new york session so if we look closely into what structure is since um, um the beginning of the month we can see that um, we have um this area here that has been um let me see been a resistant here we have a resistance we had a support we had a resistant here we had a support a support 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 and then we had someone like a resistant at this point so with this being signified being identified rather i want to be identifying a key level at that area so i will bring out my line chart for the sake of um being specific then we will look at what we can bring out at this point so if we bring out our line chart we have a key level sitting at around 119 I, I think I should use should we use 11950 I think 11950 will be most appropriate at this point so um, 11940 so allow me to so this is what we have here hold on a second i would like to switch my network as um, i'm having Sorry for the break in transmission. I I think I'm having a little bit um I have a network each right here. Please kindly confirm that you can see my screen at the moment so that I don't just peek into thing here.
hello can anyone hear me if you can hear me kindly kindly type in a hi okay stream roller is confirming that we can see okay great so um i had a little network each there so i had to switch my um internet server so um let's go back into the market so we had we've identified a key level here at 190 dollars um 50 cent so we want to be using the skill level as our guide going into the new week if we look at what happened in the past we can see that that area had been a strong resistance at one point in time which pushed price for the down then after price appears to have broken out of that area we saw it serve as a resistance a couple of times before we saw um that outright breakout and now price has broken down that um key level and is right back testing that key level at this point so one thing i want to be suggesting at this point is that we might be going for the bearish momentum as we head into the new york session and the only way we can actually um take advantage of this move is for us to look for um a signal then a confirmation that will push us to the downside if we look at what structure gave us um and during the during the uh during a last week trading session we saw this move to the upside we saw a retest it went up again climbed up and then we saw this peak at 123 dollars and then we saw a lower high which signals a possible reversal pattern and then we saw a breakdown a retest of structure and price appears to be going for the down so for me personally this area appears to be more of a reversal pattern to me which we want to be looking forward to um, a breakout retest of structure to take advantage of a bearish move as we head into the new york session so for the confirmation of this bearish um, this reversal pattern we will need a key level we will need a neckline rather to guide our actions going forward so we have this area which has been tested quite um, multiple of times will definitely serve as our neckline and uh, for the sake of clarity i would like to label that line so let's just paste it right at the center um we have something like this good so what are we looking out for as we head into the new york session what we are looking out for too we are looking forward to is a breakdown of that neckline and a retest into structure with um patterns that support a trend continuation on the lower time frame then we could join the decline to the downside and if you look at what is happening around this area we can see that this the breakdown will also share a confluence with the bullish trend line temporary bullish trend line we identified here on the two hours time frame so around this area now we don't know what's going to happen um personally based on the um prior leading price action we want to be looking forward to a breakdown of that neckline a retest of structure then we want to be joining the decline to the downside however there's another scenario we can be looking out for and that is if price breaks above that key level at $119.50 then a retest of structure will send price going to the upside so here on the on the US oil we have two scenarios to play around with as we head into the New York session so the first one is a break above of the key level at 119 hold on a second let me label this 119.50 which um a retest of that level will give us um, a confirmation to go to the upside so our take profit target remains at 125 dollars at the moment and then we would know if we are going to hard more position if we do have signs or signal that will confirm that that potential target zone will be broken so um but paying the time that is um, we are looking around this area for signals and confirmation going into the New York session. So I don't know if you have any question whatsoever. Uh, please throw it in the comment section so that we can look at it together 
and if there are conf there are clarifications that you need let me know by penning it down in the comment section so i'll give like 20 seconds to see what's happening then we can move on to the next pair so 20 seconds to see if we have any questions whatsoever okay thank you thank you Carrie okay great yes I hear you all right All right, in the absence of none, then I guess we just have to move on to the next pair. So um, let's go on to the US oil and let's see what structure is giving us here on the US, on the UK oil rather. So on the UK oil, um, hold on a second. We have what looks more, we have a similar scenario here on the UK oil as well. So we want to have a clean, a clean chart. So allow me, give me a moment to delete all this so that um, we have something clean to work with as we head into the New York session. So I want to extend this bullish trend line and let's see how this trend line is going to play out as we move forward. So we can see we have this major bullish trend line here. Let me give this a tick line. So we have the major bullish trend line, we which we identified on the daily time frame. And we have our supply zone at around $114. So now as we head into the New York session, we we have the same scenario that we are looking out for. Um, on the UK oil. So the first thing we want to do here is to identify a key level that will guide our action going into the new week. So the first thing we'll do here is to look left. We have one here and we have another one here. So we want to be choosing $121 area. $121. Yes, I think $121 area is most appropriate at this point. $121 is most appropriate. So let's label this. So we have a key level at $121. So that's that. Uh -huh. And um, this appears to be more like a double, double top structure. If we look at this closely, it looks more like a double top structure and um, let's give it a label so what we have here is this is let me give you a visual representation of what i'm talking about we saw the impulsive move to the upside here we saw price rejected 124.5 area and we saw the second rejection here and we saw the breakdown of the key level which is also which also appears to be the um the neckline of that reversal pattern we saw um a retest of structure and then we saw price diving for the down to the downside 
And if we look at what is happening around this area, it appears, if you look closely, we can see that price is close to the um, bullish trend line. And we might be looking forward to a breakdown of that bullish trend line, a retest of that area to push price further down into the major um, bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame. So one thing I want to be doing here is this. We have observed our price has been consolidating within this area since the beginning of this week. And I want to be looking forward to a breakdown of that channel after which I want to take advantage of um, a bearish momentum. So we want to be looking at this. Let me, we have an entry point right here. So personally for me, I would suggest that we do an outright entry at, um, one hundred and nineteen dollars twenty cents um with and with a sell portion that looks more like this give me a moment we have a sell portion that looks more like this and then we could have our take profit target for the meantime at one hundred and thirteen dollars um one hundred and thirteen dollars um one hundred and thirteen dollars let's put that one hundred and thirteen dollars approximately uh approximately 113 dollars and that's around how many pips that is that's um around um, 600 pips to catch so let's go back to our candle charts so this is what i'm looking out for this is what i'm expecting and so we have a stop loss right above this area at 120.65 um, as our stop loss so this is what I'm looking out for. I'm looking out for this um, price move down. Then if we have a retest of structure, then I want to add one more position to this trade at the site of a reversal pattern. And then we'll have a take profit target aimed at $113. And why is $113 my take profit target at this point? The reason is because if we look left, we can see that this area has been an area that has been, that has served as a demand level in the past and the possibility of price climbing back up from this area is very very possible so we aim at 113 dollars for at the meantime and then if we for the see a breakdown of this area then a retest of that structure could send price crashing further down So this is what I'm this is what my expectations are on the UK oil. So we have around um, 600 pips to catch if price moves as expected. Now on the contrary with the key level sitting right around that area if we see price break above that key level at $121 area and we see a retest into structure then we will look for um, a reversal pattern in the form of a double bottom, inverse head and shoulder, one to three reversal pattern to take advantage of a trend continuation to the upside. So we have two scenarios here. So the second scenario will be having an entry point right above key level here at 121.46, that is after the confirmation has been made, then we have our take profit target still remaining at um, $130, $130. So allow me to label this area. We have $130 here. And um, we have, okay, somewhere around here. So we have our stop loss right below previous structure. at around um, 130 pips. And we have a take profit target of around 850 pips. That's an approximate of risk ratio of 1 to 7. So, Any questions so far? 
Any questions so far?
Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello, can you hear me now? I think these have been sorted out now. I am. Hello, can you hear me now? Oh, great. I'm so sorry about that. And thank God I had to read the chat to get that feedback um, early enough. Um, I hope it's better now. Okay, great. I'm so sorry about that, please. I'm so sorry about that. So, um, I was actually looking at the CHFJPY where I, am, I was explaining that um, we have a scenario where price has been on a bullish momentum since um, in the last two years on the CHF Japanese yen. And uh, if I will have to go back again to the daily time frame to, to explain this over again. So here we are. Here on the daily time frame, this is it. We have this bullish trend line that has been identified and has been price has been trending to the upside since in the last two years, thereabouts, since we had that breakout of structure around this area. Now with this scenario, let's zoom into what has been happening since March. since March of this year and the first thing we will notice since the since March of this year was that this area served as a significant demand zone that pushed price significantly well and you can see how price moved with that impulsive move to the upside then we saw a retracement into our golden zone area and we saw this move and one thing we want to do at this point is to identify if this impulse leg has finally ended or we still need um, more room for the bullish momentum at this point. So what I'm looking forward to here is this. From a technical perspective, when we have an impulse leg like this and we have a retracement of that impulse leg, definitely we want to be aiming at a 1 to 7.2% of the previous impulse leg before we start seeing um, a reversal pattern that might look for a retracement phase of that of that um, of both impulse legs. Now, the scenario we have here now, if we bring out our Fibonacci extension tool and run it through. Um, the impulse leg we have here, we will be seeing our 1 to 7.2 percent at around this area, which is around 139.500 area. However, price is yet to get to that level. As we can see, that as soon as price got to 137.650, we started seeing um, we started seeing um, bearish momentum in that regard. So, what we want to be doing here going into the new week is this. Are we still going to see um, price move further up into this area? That is the completion of the 1 to 7.2 percent. Are we going to see price move into that area or are we going to see price break down that area, retest of structure and push back down to the side? So we can know that unless we scale down to a much lower time frame where we will be looking at how price has been playing out in the last um, 10 10 12 hours so I now scale down to the four hours time frame yes scale down to the four hours time frame and what I did here on the four hours time frame is to notice what happened when price rejected 137.800 area so when price rejected 137.8 area look at it let me give you a visual of what I'm talking about we saw this first tests at 137.800 price came down then we saw the second rejection of the same area at 137.630 area giving us a lower high and also insinuating there is a reversal pattern coming and that confirms a double, double top structure 
which from a technical perspective is a very very um, strong reversal pattern now we have the breakdown of the neckline the neckline at 136.500 and we have a retest of structure and we saw that bearish engulfing candle that broke the bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame so with this now this more or less a signal that we might be going bearish as we head into the new week so now with the scenario at this point how do we want to take advantage of that bearish momentum when it find when it finally begins so we need to scale down to a much lower time frame where we're going to be looking out for precise structures that will guide our action now to help us in that regard we need to identify a key level that we will use to guide our action as we head to the new york session so to help us to to help us in that, I identified the 136 Japanese yen area, which you can see if we look left, we can see that this place has been a resistant area, resistant, resistant, resistant before it became a support here. Then it was a resistant at one point here, it was a support here, and then we saw the breakdown of that key level. So for me, if you will agree with me, this is more or less a very, very significant level that has been a major determinant of price action as soon as price action comes around that area. So now let's scale down to the one hour time frame after which we want to look out for um, structures that will guide our action. So now we are on the one hour time frame and if we look left we have bring out my line chart um, we have a bearish trend line to play with we have the first major bearish trend line here and then we have a second one we have a second one which is more or less um, a temporary trend line here so I want to give I want to make this a little bit lighter so as to emphasize the significance of each of this trend line so now on the allow me to hide this good so now on the one hour time frame, we have seen a breakdown of that bullish trend line. We have seen a breakdown of the neckline here, and we have seen a retest of the neckline here, further confirming that we are going bearish. So one thing I want to be looking out for going into the New York session is um, a further confirmation in the form of a retest of that bullish trend line which also shares a confluence with the key level we identified at 136 Japanese yen area which also shares a confluence with the bearish trend line the temporary bearish trend line then we look for patterns on lower time frame like a double top structure a head and shoulder pattern or a one two three reversal pattern to take advantage of that bearish move to the downside so personally um, we want to be um, aiming at, we want to be having an entry around this area at 135.872 that is if price goes up then we look for structures around that area then we'll be aiming at 133.950 as our take profit target so we have, a, we, have it, we have a take profit target here and why is our take profit target here if we look left we can see that we have this area has been a support at one point in time during the um, uh, early early part of this month we saw a demand level here so I'm thinking let us have this area first as our take profit target and if we do have a breakdown of that area in the future then a retest of that structure will probably will give us um, um, a scenario to go bearish so now with this setup being said what if price does not go back into the key level that's another question we want to ask what if price does not go back to the key level what do we do to take advantage of that move so that we don't miss out on this trade so the second scenario we want to be looking out for is this we have a structure right here if you look left we have a structure right here that has been at one point in time being a demand zone you can see we can see it here we can see it here and we had multiple 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 rejection of that area 
So one thing I want to be looking out for here is we could have an entry point here. Let's have an entry point here. And we have something that looks like this. With a take profit, I guess, to remain at 133.950, which gives us around $130, $130 pips rather. Then we have our um, stop loss right above um, the previous entry that we speculated, and that's around 53 pips. Then we have at this. So if price goes back up, like I have said, if price goes back up into the key level, which also shares a confluence with the bearish, temporary bearish trend line, the bullish trend line as well, then we look for um, patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation to the downside. And if that happens, if that happens, then we could, if we have a breakdown of this area, a retest also should welcome another opportunity to add a position to this trade. However, if price does not go further to the key level and price decides to move down in this area, then I want us to look out for reversal pattern on the daily on the on the 15 minutes, 10 minutes or 5 minutes time frame to take advantage of the move from this area to the downside. So this is another so we have um two scenarios, two bearish scenario we should be looking out for as we head into the New York session on the CHF JPY. So um, do you have any questions whatsoever? Do you have any question? So let's take one more pair. Um, let me suggest we go for the gold. Let's see what's happening on the gold. Let's see if we could, if I could share with you and okay, yes, um, on the gold. I have an expectation here on the gold. I have a bullish expectation on the gold based on how um, the market closed during last week trading session. And um, if you allow me, let's go to daily time. Let's see from um, the larger perspective what price action has been suggesting. So on a daily time frame, definitely it's obvious that we are on a long-term bullish momentum. And we, it's obvious we're on a long-term bullish momentum on the daily time frame. So let's scale down to the lower time frame to see how we can take advantage of this bullish momentum if it finally happens. So um, we scale down to the four hours time frame. So on the four hours time frame, this is what we have here. This is what we have here on the four hours time frame. This is what my expectations are here on the four hours time frame. So the first thing I, I identify here on the four hours time, when I looked back into what has been happening since the beginning of the month of June, I observed that price has been respecting this bullish trend line before we saw the breakdown of that bullish trend line um, during the course of last week trading session. And we can see immediately that bullish line was broken. We saw this bullish engulfing candle that pushed price to the key level at $1,870 and was immediately rejected into this area. So one thing I want to be looking out for to take an advantage of any buy momentum on this one is this. I want to see price break back above that bullish trend line, do a retest of the trend line and if we see reversal patterns from this area that supports a trend continuation to the upside, we take the trade and if we see a breakout of that key level and the rate of that key level, we had more position to this so that we can continue the uptrend um, perspective. 
Now, where will our take profit target be? Before I start going into specific on a lower time frame, I want us to identify where our take profit target is going to be at this point. Using the um, using the impulse leg here as a guide, we want to project it into the future. And what are we going to use to do that is the Fibonacci extension tool. And when we run it through that impulse leg, we have something like this. So we will be having a take profit target within the $1,900 area. So now we have, let's have this right here. So we have it around $1,900 area. Now, where will our entry point be? To get that, let's scale down to the one hour time frame. Let's scale down to the one hour time frame. Yes, good. So on the one hour time frame, this is what we can see here on the one hour time frame. Uh, we have this um, temporary key level here at um, $1,853. I want to see a reversal pattern here. We already have price testing this area. I want to see a reversal pattern in the form of this, this, a breakout of structure, a retest. The breakout also shares a confluence with the breakout of that bullish trend line. A retest then we want to see price moving up to the upside. Then, like I said, a breakout of that key level at $1,870, a retest of that key level should welcome another opportunity to add one more position to this trade. So what this simply means is that we want to be having our entry point right above this area. At um, this, We want to have our entry point right above this area. Hold on. We want to have our entry point right above here, that is $1,861. So we want to have our entry point right above this area. And please note that we are looking out for reversal patterns on the lower time frame. Let's say the 15 minutes, your 10 minutes, your 5 minutes time frame to take advantage of this bullish momentum. So we have our stop loss right below structure here. So what this simply means at this point is that we don't want to see price going below this level. We don't want to see price going because if price goes below this level, then we might be considering to sell the gold in the new week. But for now, I'm not doing any sell. I'm not thinking of any sell until we see how price plays out in the next um, couple of hours. And personally, I'm still having a strong feeling that the bullish momentum is still going to be very, is still valid at this point based on what structure is giving us right now. So we have a retest of this level. We have a um, reversal pattern. We have a reversal pattern. We look out for a reversal pattern. Let's say a double bottom structure, a breakout of structure, which also shares a confluence with the bullish trend line. Then a retest of structure. Then we look for patterns on lower time frame to join the bullish momentum to the upside. So let's place our take profit target at $1,900, which is around um, 3,900 pips. And from there on, we look at how um, market goes. So this is my perspective here on the gold. And um, I want us to, to um, quickly do a recap of what we talked about so far after which um, we'll call it a day. So um, move on to so the US oil. On the US oil, what was our expectation on the US oil? So let's go back to the US oil. So on the US oil, this is what we had two scenarios that we are looking out for on the US oil. Um, the first scenario is um, a bearish momentum and we identify this reversal pattern and we expecting we saw we saw we expecting price will break down the reversal pattern let me delete this please so that i can redraw it uh, we are expecting price will break down this neckline to give us a signal then if we see a retest of structure we look for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation then we join the decline to the downside 
However, if we see a breakout of that key level at $119.50, then a retest of that key level, <coughs> excuse me, a retest of that key level should, with patterns that support a trend continuation to the upside, should um, give us um, a confirmation that we should go bullish on this one. <coughs> excuse me. So, um, I would like to draw out that. Um, entry point where I'm expecting us to enter after confirmation is made. So we have one here at $119.74 and then we have a bullish setup, a bullish scenario that looks like this with a take profit target at $125. So we have a take profit target at $125 which will fetch us around 5,000 pips. Then we should have our stop loss right below the key level and right around that previous low with around 90 to 100 pips as a stop loss. Now, for the bearish momentum, if we do have a breakdown of this neckline, then we want to be having an entry right around here after the after a confirmation has been made in the form of a reversal pattern on lower time frame, then we could we should had we should enter at 118 dollars. $118. So we have our entry point here. We have our stop loss right above the previous with around 90 to 100 pips. And then we have our take profit target. And if you look left, we can see that we have structures here. So we can aim it at $114. So um, this is what our expectation is going to be like on the US oil. Then on the UK oil, what scenario were we what is the scenario we were expecting? Hello, good morning. So on the UK oil, we have two scenarios as well on the UK oil. And it's more or less similar to what we have there on the US oil. So the first thing, the first scenario is if we have a breakout of the key level, a retest of the key level, then we could take advantage of a bullish momentum right above the key level at $121.42 and we have our take profit target at $130. However, if we are looking for the bearish momentum, we want to see a breakdown of this area, of this area here, sorry, um, I don't know what happened, why this was deleted. We want to see a breakdown of this area. Uh, let me give this a purple, 119 um 11940 119.40 so we want to be seeing a breakdown of 119.40 then a retest of that area then we look for breakout of that structure in the pattern we identify here on the lower time frame which will also share a confluence with the breakdown of that bullish trend line then we want to take advantage of a move around this area with a take profit target at $113 so that's that on the UK oil and we moved on to the to the gold pair where we look we are looking forward to a bullish momentum on the gold pair and what scenario are we looking out for on the gold uh, this is what I said here on the gold I said now that price has tested our temporary key level at one hundred and one thousand eight hundred and fifty one dollars uh, we want to be looking forward to price doing a reversal pattern around this area whatever reversal pattern that comes up it could be an inverse head and shoulder it could be a one two three part reversal pattern or, or it could be a double bottom structure then we look out for a breakout of structure which might also coincide um, um, coincide with the breakout of this bullish trend line then a retest of structure all this on a lower time frame then we look for pattern that supports a trend continuation to the upside. So we have our entry point right at $1,861.200 and we would be looking out for a take profit again at $1,900. Then don't forget that I mentioned that if we finally see a breakout of the key level here at $1,870, a retest of that area should welcome another position into this trade. So this is my perspective here on the gold pair. And now we talked about the CHF JPY. I think that's the last pair we talk, we are going to be discussing today. 
So on the CHF JPY, um, we already have a bearish scenario that I already painted earlier and we had a reversal pattern in the form of a double top structure. We had a neckline that was finally broken and we had a retest of the neckline here and we had price coming back down as it broke down that bullish trend line we identified earlier. So what I was saying is this, I was saying that we're expecting price to come back into the ski level at 136 Japanese yen which will also coincide with both the bearish trend line and the bullish trend line then we look for pattern mind you all this on a lower time frame and we look for pattern that supports a trend continuation to the downside so if that happens we want to be having our entry point at 135 dollars no 135 Japanese yen 88 882 However, I also stated that what if price does not go that far, that is price does not go into the key level here and price decides to climb to plunge further down. So if that happens, then we switch to our lower time frame, let's say the 15 minutes time frame to look out for a breakdown of this key level at 135.4110, a retest of this area, then we look for patterns in the form of a reversal pattern on lower time frame to take advantage of the trend continuation to the downside. Our take profit target still remains at 134 Japanese yen. So um, on this note, I would like to call it a day. So thank you for being around. I really appreciate it. And I'm so sorry for my um, itchy network, which I'm very sure will sort it out before tomorrow. And on this note, um, Thank you very much and do um, have a wonderful New York session.